Who could suppose what together we'll find With every pair of shoes that we try We'll have a new adventure, you and I Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure But come for a walk, I lead the way To places never seen Grandpa, I can't find it anywhere. Don't worry, Franny. I'll help you look for it. <gasps> A customer! <laughs> Welcome to Van Tootsies. How can I help you today? My poor ballet slippers. They're brand new, but I just found a tear in the satin. A little satin and a little sewing, and you'll be pirouetting again in no time. Will you put these in the fix-it box, please, Franny? Okie dokie. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Ooh. <laughs> How pretty. My name's Lila. Are you a fairy? <laughs> no, I'm not a fairy. I'm just a regular little girl. And my name's Franny. See? No wings! <laughs> I didn't mean a real fairy, Franny. I'm talking about ballet fairies. Ballet fairies? Sure. I'm a ballerina, and I'm dancing in the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is a very famous ballet performed all over the world at Christmas time. It was written by Tchaikovsky. Kazoo tight. <laughs> I'm not sneezing, Franny. That's the composer's name. Tchaikovsky. Oh, very nice fairy dancing, Lila. Thanks. Only, I'm not a fairy. Costumes, everyone. I'm a gingerbread girl. Gingerific! What a great costume. It's okay. But every year I play a gingerbread girl. In every year, I wish it was a fairy, like <gasps> the Sugar Plum Fairy, the most beautiful ballerina ever. Wow. What's she doing? She's warming up before the performance, stretching her muscles. Ballet is very, very hard work. You have to be super strong and super flexible to be able to dance so gracefully. Who is he? That's the dancer who plays the prince. Look at his muscles in his legs. He must be so strong. He is. You should see how high he can jump. Zowie Zoodle. That's so beautiful. That's nothing, really. They're saving their best jumps for their performance. Look. <laughs> Little fairies, just our age. <sighs> It must be so wonderful to be a fairy. Fifteen minutes to performance. Come with me. This is my favorite place to watch as they set up the stage for the ballet. You can see everything from here. Oh, leaping lollipops. Look at these candies. Those are the props for the Land of Sweets. They roll on wheels. See? I use this candy cane for my gingerbread dance. Sweet! It must be so much fun to dance with a candy cane. <laughs> it sure is. And over here are the giant toys for under the Christmas tree. If this is the size of the presents, imagine how big the tree would have to be. You're right. Watch this. Whoa! That is absolutely the most ginormous Christmas tree I've ever seen. 
Places, please. Five minutes. Uh-oh. I have to get ready. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Ooh, this is so exciting. I'm starting to get very nervous. You get nervous? But you said you've been a gingerbread girl lots of times. I know. But it's the same every show. I get butterflies in my stomach. And I love it. I love everything about the ballet. I even love being a gingerbread girl. And you're very good at it, too. What's that noise? That's the orchestra getting their instruments in tune. Orchestra? What orchestra? <laughs> They're down there. Look. Heavens to xylophones. There are musicians down there. <laughs> it's called the orchestra pit. They put the musicians down there so they don't block the audience's view of the dancers. Two minutes to showtime. Places, please. I have to get into place, Franny. I'll see you after the... What? Uh-oh. What's the matter, Lila? I was having so much fun with you, I forgot to change into my ballet slippers. Well, you'd better hurry. The show is about to start. You're right. Only... I don't know where they are. They have to be around here somewhere. But where? We visited so many places. The orchestra pit. The giant toys. The dancing candy canes. The growing Christmas tree. And by the mirror where the sugar plum fairy was dancing. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? All we have to do is go back and look in all the places we visited. I'm sure we'll find your slippers that way. Oh, Franny, we've looked everywhere. Where can my ballet slippers be? Hmm, let me think. What were we doing before we watched the Sugar Plum Fairy warm up? Before we watched the Sugar Plum Fairy, I was showing you my... Gingerbread costume! Here's one ballet slipper. And here's the other. Yay, we found them just in time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our holiday production of the Nutcracker. The show is starting. I have to run. Good luck, Lila. Break a leg. would have made it on stage without you. And guess what? The Sugar Plum Fairy told me that I'd done such a good job as a gingerbread girl that next performance, I get to be a fairy. Oh, Lila, that's fantastic. It is wonderful. As long as I don't lose my ballet slippers again. Come with me. There's one more thing we have to do. There. Lila's shoes. Now you'll always have a place to put them. Thanks again, Franny. You're the best. Forgetting. My skipping rope! I was looking for it outside, but it wasn't there. Where should I look next? I know! I'll try to remember what I was doing before I went outside to play. Hmm. I remember. I was having a snack. There it is! I found my skipping rope! Good for you, Franny. 
This is just like when I was visiting my friend Lila, and she lost her ballet slippers. So we looked behind the giant candies and the expanding tree and finally found them in the gingerbread costumes. Giant candies, gingerbread costumes. I don't know about any of that, but it sounds like you need to keep better track of your toys, Franny. <laughs> You're right, Grandpa, and I know how. Now I'll always know where my skipping rope is. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Piffle. Double piffle. Double piffle? That sounds serious. It is. I made the letter F for Franny. Very good. But now I'm trying to make a G for Grandpa. First I made it backwards, and then I made the circle part too big. It's hard. <gasps> a customer. Good day. What can we do for you? I'd like to go skating in the Winterlude festivities, but my skates are stiff and uncomfortable, and the blades are dull. Don't worry. We'll sharpen those blades and rub oil on the leather. You'll be out on the ice quick as a wink. Can you please put these in the fix-it box, Franny? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Fantabulous outfit! Where am I? You're at the community center ice skating rink. Whoa! I've got you! Thanks. The ice sure is slippery. <laughs> All the better to skate on! <laughs> wow! Neato! I'm Sylvie. Nice to meet you. Hi! I'm... Whoa! Oopsie! Hi, Sylvie. I'm Franny. Don't move. I'm going to get you a cone. A cone? It's much too cold for ice cream. <laughs> Not an ice cream cone. It's a plastic cone to help you keep your balance. Here, hold on to it. Whoa. <gasps> Thanks. You're welcome. Jeepers, you sure are a great skater. Thank you. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. I've been taking lessons for a long time, since I was very little. Why are you still taking lessons? You already know how to skate really well. <laughs> I'm learning more than just how to skate. I'm learning jumps. And twirls. And other special moves. <laughs> Whoa. It's called figure skating. Figure skating? Show me more. Sure. <laughs> you look like a hopping bunny when you do that one. That's called the bunny jump. This is called an upright spin because you stay upright. <gasps> and this is a sit spin because you sit. Ta-da! Yay! Whoa! I know I can't do spins or jumps, but I sure wish I could skate. Would you like me to teach you? Would I? Absolutely. Okay then, follow me. One foot after the other. Good, Franny. Now let go of the cone. Hold your arms out to the side like this to help you balance. Okay. And bend your knees a little. Now move forward one foot at a time, just like we did when we were holding onto the cone. Whoa! You're doing it! Great Galoopy! I'm skating! <sighs> that 
was icerific. But skating is hard work. Hey, they get to hold on to a hockey stick to help them balance. <laughs> Let's take a rest. Would you like some juice from the snack bar? Sure. These are skate guards. Now we can walk on our skates without ruining the blade. <laughs> it's not easy walking on skates either. I can't bend my feet. <laughs> Look, I am walking like a robot. <laughs> have apple juice. What will you have, Franny? Same, please. Two apple juice, please. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, kids. Scrum diddly umptious. <gasps> Look, Sylvie. Zowie. That was fantabulous. Who are they? They're figure skaters. They're practicing for a figure skating competition. It's a contest where you're given points for how well you skate your special moves. The winner is the one with the most points. Will you be in the competition too? No, not me. Why not? You can jump and twirl as well as they did. Thanks, Franny. You're right. I am good at jumping and twirling, but I can't do a figure eight. What's a figure eight? It's a figure skating move. In competition, the figure eight is a basic one. And I can't do it. What does it look like? Is it very fancy dancy? Not really. I'll show you. This is a figure eight. Oh, it's the exact same shape as the number eight. If you can jump and spin and do whirly twirlies, I just know you can learn to do a figure eight. I've tried, but I get all mixed up. I mean to go one way, but my feet go the other way. Hmm. <gasps> what about looking at the drawing on a napkin while you skate? That way, you'll remember what to do. I can try. Can you see it? Yup. Whoa! Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. But I took my eyes off the napkin and saw the red hockey lines and got all confused. My feet started following the lines on the ice. Following the lines on the ice? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We can draw a figure eight on the ice and you can follow the shape. That's a great idea, Franny. I know just the thing. Wait here. Excuse me, can I borrow your red chalk? I won't be a minute. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. There! I drew the number eight onto the ice. It looks just like a figure eight. Now, you can follow the lines as you skate, and your feet will know exactly where to go. I think this might work. Here goes. Yay! That's it, Sylvie! I did it! A figure eight! You did it! Thanks to you, Franny. A bit more practice and I'll be able to enter a competition. Would you like to skate some more? I can teach you to twirl around. I'd love to, Sylvie, but I need to skedaddle home. There's something I have to do. Okay, Franny. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Sylvie. That was skaterific. <laughs> A pom pom. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoe box. <laughs> Grandpa? Yes, Franny? Can you write the letter G for me? Certainly. How's that? It's good, but I need more. More? I need lots and lots of them. I figured out a way to learn to write the letter G. I knew you would. 
<laughs> I'm going to write over the G's you make. Just like Sylvie learned the figure eight by skating over the one I drew on the ice. <laughs> Sylvie? Skating? <laughs> I see. At least I think I do. Well, here you go. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs>